हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मेक द स्ट्रिंग्स इक्वल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम हैकर अर्थ जनवरी सर्किट्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो लेट सी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट वी आर गिवन टू स्ट्रिंग्स एस एंड टी एंड बोथ कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ लोअर केस लेटिन लेटर्स एंड वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन इफ वी कैन मेक एस टी using a uh, following string operations so there is only one operation we have to swap any two adjacent character in uh, s and also we have to swap any two adjacent character in t both at same time so and it's necessary to swap both the strings so let's see further there are t test cases and in each test case uh, s and t are given so let's see this example first a b c d uh, a b c d d a c b so A B C D and D A C B. So we have to swap any number of times. We can swap infinite number of times. So let's see. We can make this array equal or not. So um, let's swap this one A and D. then it will become a d c b a d c b and again let's swap and we have to we have swapped this one suppose one time and again swap this one and we again swapped this one one more time so this will become a c d b and again swap this one and suppose we have again swap this one and this is now b and a so this is a c b d and now again swap this so again we have reswap this one to a and b so this is a b c d so we can see we made these two strings equal and since they are even number of swaps then uh, there will be a and b at last so for this test case we have made both the strings equal so let's see another test case here suppose we take a a b b and b b a a so let's take a a b b and b b a a so uh this is clear we can swap both the strings equal we will swap this infinite number of times we can swap these infinite number of times and the resultant will be a and a and in this we can swap like uh b a b b sorry b a b a this one and again we can swap uh a b b a and again we can swap this one so this will be a b a b and again we can swap this one to a a b b so we can see if there uh any two adjacent character same then we can make both the strings equal unless uh, there is any extra character in any of the string so and now let's see another example uh, suppose uh, we take a b a b and b a b a so again 
since uh, let's swap these two so we'll just swap b a a b and again we can swap uh, a b these two and we have swap this one so b a and b a and now again we can swap these infinite number of times so this will become equal so from this we can conclude that if there are any two duplicate character in s then we can make s and t equal unless any uh, uncommon character is there and let's take another example like this one so uh, suppose let's take this one so this is a b and b a so we if we swap uh, this one and this one then both will get reversed and uh, suppose we swapped b a and this is now uh, a b so or uh, then they we can only uh, we can swap one time so uh, we can see if they are odd number of uh, swaps then we cannot make uh, two strings equal if there are no duplicates in both the strings and if there are any duplicate then we can always uh, make both the strings equal so let's see the code now and we have n size of both the strings a and b the strings and now we we are taking a frequency of first string in map d and again if and there is any duplicate in a such that x dot second is greater than one then flag will be one and again i am reducing frequency of b i from d uh, this is minus one uh, and now again iterating over a uh, dictionary or map if x dot second is not equals to zero such that there is any uncommon character in a and b then we will print no and if flag is one then then we will print yes and uh, if there is no duplicate in both the strings so we can do brute force and because if there are no duplicate then both uh, length of both the strings can be 26 so we can go up to n raised to power 4 but uh, here we will go n q so of course this will pass the uh, given time limit so now we will iterate over n if a i is not equals to b i then we will find where a i is in b i so we are again iterating over b i and if b of oh, sorry b j is a i then we will shift both the uh, sorry we will shift uh, strings in b i sorry b one unit right uh, let's see uh, this one so uh, suppose we have a b c d and d a c b and uh, suppose this is not equal this index is not equal then we will find this one in b so here it is b and we will keep this in a temporary variable let's suppose t 
equals to a and we will shift uh, this d to uh, this index or any of the character uh, behind this to this index and again we will put this one to here and now this will become a d c b and again let's see uh, let's see we have a d c b and now b and d is not equal so again we will uh, find where b is in string t so here it is b so we will shift this one and again this one here and now we will put b to here so now our string will be a oh sorry a b uh, c d and we will count every num uh, number of swaps or number of shift so we have shifted this one uh, one time so uh, initially the uh, count is 0 and then we will add 1 and again we have shifted b to d so uh, sorry d to b so again this is plus 2 and again oh sorry this will be a b and d c since we are shifting uh, this to right and now this is plus 1 this is plus 2 and again we will swap this one so this is plus 3 so we have total 4 uh, swaps so this is even then we will print yes and this is what I am doing from k equals to j minus 1 to uh, k greater than i we are uh, shifting b of k plus 1 to bk and again for ev uh, every shift we have increment we are incrementing count and again updating b of i equals to ai As in, this is simple brute force you can uh, simulate this one and you will get what it's saying and if count is even then we'll print yes else no so for any doubt you can comment down below and thanks for watching